Hey, all my future homeowners out there. If you're looking to find an affordable neighborhood with an affordable price point, then I invite you to check out Gerald, Texas. This community is brand new called Cool Water at Sentara. And the builder we're looking at today is called Castle Rock Communities. Now, what makes this neighborhood, this area so special is that they have homes starting from the 260s. From the 260s. Now, granted, this home that we're looking at here is a model home. So it's definitely not that. The model homes are usually the most expensive ones. This one right here is called the Mesquite Floor Plan. And it has three beds, two and a half baths, a uh, little over 1,900 square feet, and has two-car garage. And this one is being uh, sold for 331000 So, yes, they do have homes that can be built at that price point starting the 260s. But this home that we're looking at here now is in the mid, or I would say on the lower end of the 300 uh, spectrum. So, point being, I know 350000 and below is kind of like the sweet spot for people, especially for first-time home buyers. And Gerald, Texas is definitely one of those areas that's, em that's emerging and there's a lot of new construction happening. So right now, because of all this new construction happening and uh, there's a, there's incentives that the builders are offering to help you, the buyer, close with them. Now, a lot of these incentives in the past have been kind of earmarked only for uh, home upgrades, but now they're offering this flexible cash, quote unquote, because you could use it to help buy down the interest rate, help pay for closing costs, maybe even sometimes pay for the upgrades too, depending on your situation. Now, the big thing for most people is that interest rate. So right now, this builder is offering either one of two things, either a permanent buy down, of a 4.99% interest rate, or if you need a little bit more help, we can do a 2-1 buy down. So very simply put, in year one, you'll pay a 2.99%. In year two, you'll pay 3.99%. And from years three to 30, that's when you'll pay that 4.99%. Now, I know that was really fast. Uh, you really have to see the chart side by side for it to make sense, but just Understand that a that 2-1 buy down strategy is just to help increase your purchasing power. Now, I'm going to rewind back a little bit because I, there's one thing I didn't, I really did not want to miss. So on top of all that, the builder is going to give you $5,000 and on top of that in flexible cash. So you could use that to pay, help pay for the closing costs or help with maybe with a home upgrade. So that's on top of helping buy down the interest rate. I really wanted to point that out. And these are for all homes that are part of their inventory ready to move in the next 30 60 days on their homes that are to be built so not not done they haven't broken ground yet so we're looking at a six month or longer window they're offering even more flexible cash but you have to close when these incentives are being offered so you can't think like okay if it's six months from now that they're going to be ready that's when i'll go ahead and make an offer that's not how it works the incentives can be completely different six from six months from now they could be completely different in the sense they could be earmarked for something else, not helping buy down the interest rate depending on where the market goes, right? So if you're interested in buying new construction in 2024 and are looking to, you know, get, uh, lock in the best incentives, then you, you want to get into that mindset of buying during the off season. So what do I mean? So right now I'm filming this March 12, 2024, and we are on spring break actually. So after March and after spring break, that's when things start to tick up a little bit more as we hit into the summer. And summer is peak season. That's when everyone and their mom come out home shopping. And that's when buy activity picks up. And that's when prices usually go up. And that's when these incentives usually go away because these incentives are directly correlate, correlated with buyer demand. Now, another quick question I get asked from my buyers is like, hey, I'm buying real estate. I want to make sure I'm buying in an area where I know I'm going to see my money grow. I want to see an ROI. I'm like, great question. So I did some number research and i looked at the city for gerald and i looked uh as far back as 2018 so a little bit before the pandemic as far as the median price of a home we're looking at 235,000 in the year 2018 fast forward to 2023 and we're looking at a median price of 377,500 dollars so that's a home appreciation year over year of 7.83 percent since 2018 that is not too bad now, big disclaimer here, these past results do not guarantee any future results, but it's a, looking at past trends, it's a good, gives you a good idea as well as to what the future may hold for this area. And I can tell you from coming to Gerald, it's an emerging market. It's, uh, Gerald is very close to a major highway. Uh, so if you need to commute, I mean, this is definitely an area where it's a great entry point for a lot of first time home buyers because of the, its starting price point, which is in the mid two sixties.
right? And this pool we're seeing here is just one of, I think, three amenity centers that they're building for this community. This is one that's done now. They're currently building one that will be done the next four to six months. So we're talking probably by maybe by the end of summer. But this master plan community, uh, Cool Water at Santerra, is going to have multiple amenity centers that you, you're going to have access to. And I'll uh, and I would like to mention that the HOA and property taxes aren't too crazy. I don't have them here in front of me, but I do remember. I do remember that the HOA was fairly low. It's definitely under hundred under a hundred dollars, which is uh, low dependent uh, because of uh, what you get from as far as access from all these uh, amenity centers. So, what's your next step? Your next step should be let's let's schedule a virtual consultation because that's usually the quickest and fastest way for us to get some face to face time. That way, uh, you know, we can say hi and I can we can dive a little bit deeper into your criteria and your expectations and what your timeline is. That way we can figure out which community is right for you. We can get you pre approved or and pre qualified. That's a big caveat to unlocking all of these incentives for new construction uh, with working with the builder is that you have to pre get pre approved with their in house lender in order to unlock all of these. So if you already been pre approved from another lender that's not with the builder, I would I would suggest let's do it again. Let's get another loan estimate, compare them side by side to see where you're going to get the better deal and see if your other lender can match it. If not, more often than not, nine times out of ten, the builders' incentives are just going to be unbeatable. But never, but it's totally okay, and it's totally within your right to uh, shop around the rate and the terms of what you can get when it, when it comes to the financing part of this. But uh, let's do a virtual consultation. That way, we can uh, figure out a game plan, and then we can go. Uh, see which community and go check out some new construction homes. So again, my name is Omar Pineda. I'm a realtor here in the Austin area. I specialize in new construction. Um, it's a big part of my channel. I cover all things like Austin related, Austin living, Williamson here in Williamson County. That's where I'm at in the north kind of side of, of, of Austin. And uh, new construction is definitely uh, a series that I have. So if you're looking to buy new construction, I definitely would highly recommend it uh, because I, in my opinion, in the next couple of years, well, for the foreseeable future, because of the way Austin is, it's growing so rapidly and there's so much confidence you know, as far as developers to, uh, cre uh, creating more residential and commercial uh, spaces that new construction is going to be where you can get the best deals because more often than not the builders have their own in-house lender and that's how they just have more flexibility with the financing that um you know you just can't you can't compare it with these incentives because they're giving some crazy amounts of cash to help again buy down that interest rate because that's a big big pain point for people and i haven't seen anyone yet thus far that's outside of the builders kind of lender being able to like match how much they're willing to give to help buy down that interest rate so um i'll have all my stuff all my stuff in the description if you want for a quick contact and just let me know i'm here to be of service and again thanks for watching and i appreciate you and i'll catch you in the next one